Okay, so this is the second audio visual response for the unit teaching secondary science. I'm Sam. This is about understanding formative assessment in the lower secondary classroom. Why is it important and how does it shape practice? So formative assessment is um, one method of assessing students. I, I quite like um, this method. Um, basically, it involves assessing students as you teach, and then you can use that information to plug any gaps, to alter the um, course, to make sure that materials are getting covered, and make sure that um, by the time a, a unit of learning is over, that a student um, can do the best that they can uh, rather than, say, a summative assessment where you'll um, teach and teach and teach, and then by the end of it, um, that's when you find out how well a student is doing. Um, why is formative assessment important? I think it's really important to um, make sure that you know that your students are on track. Um, and also, uh, formative assessment um, done continuously can take the pressure off assessment rather than a um, summative test at the end of a unit which students can be quite anxious about. Um, a formative assessment um, can be done without the um, students even knowing that they're being assessed and it can um, yeah, take away all that anxiety around, uh, around testing. Um, so how does it uh, shape practice? Um, I think formative assessment needs to be worked into the curriculum. So it's not something that you could just um, do off the cuff. Um, it might involve some over the shoulder marking uh, while the students are um, doing their um, questions at the end of a chapter, for example. Um, it might involve, say, some Kagan strategies where um, you say, ask a question to the class. Can everyone please talk to their shoulder partner about um, what answer you got? And then hands up um, about what answer you got. And then you can uh, get a bit of a feel as to how the students are doing. Um, from there, um, it doesn't even, you don't even need to mark it for every student. It can be a general feel for the class. And then you can use that to, um, to base that on the work that you're going to do in the future. Um, it can be done right at the start. If you want to understand what the children already know, what the students already know, um, it can be done throughout with every lesson, or it can be done say every second or third week for the term, just to see how the students are tracking. Um, even a summative test um, at the end um, can be used as a formative assessment if you then go back and, and reteach um, based on the information you've got. So I think it's a very good um, tool to use. Thank you.